conventional way of subtracting with regrouping connects to conceptually to how that is with the place value blocks. So in my first video I showed you how to subtract using pictures. We talked about making a hundreds, tens, and ones chart and how we can then put in our largest number first and then break apart those different values to take away the smaller amount. So if I wanted to take 723 and subtract 475, I would first draw my 700s, and we could use flats or squares for that. 4, 5, 6, 7. My 210s, which would be two rods, and my three ones. 1, 2, 3. Now over here I have that same thing, 700s, 210s, and three ones. Now from that, I want to take away 475. Here I can see that same thing. I'm taking away 475. Notice how I have the place value lined up so that the ones are together, the tens are together, and the hundreds are together. Now I want to start by taking away this five ones. But I only have three here, so I need to do some regrouping. I'm going to take away this 10, and I'm going to slide it over into the ones category. I know that within one 10, there are 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's take a tam out for a second. Notice within here I only have one ten left, so let's make this side match that as well. Instead of two tens, we now have one ten. And on this side we started with our three ones, but we added another ten. So now we have one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So let's make this reflected as well. We now have seven hundreds, one ten, and thirteen ones. And the reason we had to do this trade is that the big number was on the bottom. And when you have the big number on the bottom, you know you're going to need to do some trading. Well, now I can take away my five because I have thirteen ones. I just cross off the ones I don't need. One, two, three, four, five. And I know that I am left with these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's look at our 10s. I have one 10. I want to take 7 away. I can't do that. So I'm going to do some borrowing. I'm going to take this 100 here, and I'm going to break it apart and move it over to the 10s column. I know that 100 is worth 10 rods or 10 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. Now let's take a time out for a second. Notice I only have three or six hundreds left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's change our numbers to match. Instead of 700s, we now have 600s. And while I only had one 10 in the beginning, I now have 10 plus another one, which should make it 11. Let's make that match. And the whole reason we had to do this borrowing is that again, we have the small or the bigger number on the bottom. If you have the big number on the bottom, you need to make sure that you do some borrowing. Well, now I can take my 11 tens and I can subtract out my 7 no problem. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm left with these tens right here. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4 of them left. The last thing I need to do is I have six hundreds. I need to take four of them away. One, two, three, four. Notice I didn't need to do any borrowing or regrouping because I had six and I could take away four. The big number was on top, so I didn't need to do any subtracting or borrowing. Six minus four is going to equal two. So I have two left right here. We found our answer to be 248. So it doesn't matter if you use the picture strategy or if you use regrouping, you're going to end up with the same thing. Let's have you try this one on your own. We have 628, and we're going to subtract from that 573. I want you to use both the picture and the regrouping methods to see how they're connected. Make sure you start with your bigger number, 628, and from that, take away 500, 7 tens, and 3 ones. Don't forget, when you have the big number on the bottom, so here we have the 7, which is bigger than the 2, you know you're going to need to do some borrowing. Go ahead and pause the video now and start it again when you're ready to check your work. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you did. We start with our big number and we're going to draw this one first. 600, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
and 28, which is 2 tenths and 8 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, I want to take 3 ones away. I don't think that should be a problem. I can clearly see that I can take this one, this one, and this one away, and still be with five, left with 5 left over. Notice the big number was on top, so we didn't need to do any regrouping. We figured out that 8 take away 3 was 5. Let's look at our 10s. We have two 10s. We want to take away 7. I can see I have the big number on the bottom, so I'm going to need to do some trading. I'm going to take this 100 here, and I'm going to break it apart into some 10s. I know that it's worth 10 rods. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now let's make that match with our numbers over here. I no longer have 600s. I only have 500s left because I took one of them and I borrowed it to break it into 10s. Now it didn't just disappear when I borrowed it. It became 10 10s plus the two I already have, which made it 12. So since I had the big number on the bottom, I had to borrow. Now that I have 12 tens, I can take away 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In the end, I'm left with these 5 left down here at the bottom. Last but not least, I have 5 hundreds. I want to take away 5 hundreds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't have any hundreds left. Everything has been crossed off. Your answer should have been 55. If you got an answer of 55, you can move on to the next activity in your learning center. If not, watch this video again and practice along. Good luck.